It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, August 21st. I'm James Spann. We stay in moist air today and tomorrow and maybe even Sunday, so a few scattered showers and storms about. But the middle of next week, we'll see a nice surge of cooler air. And the tropics are active, so a lot to talk about. So here we go. There's the water vapor satellite view across the country early this morning. A zonal flow for the most part. Got a stalled surface boundary a little north of the state, but I thought I'd jump to the precipitable water values. And you can see uh, by midday today, we're very moist. Uh, This is off the GFS, and uh, you can see very dry air up in Tennessee, especially north of Interstate 40. But down here, the precipitable water values are two inches or higher. So, again, high dew points, muggy conditions, maybe a few scattered showers and storms later. But overall, things are quiet around the nation. Uh, Red flag warnings for some of the counties in the northwest United States, but the east is quiet. Got a marginal risk of severe weather well to the west of the state today. Then the standard slight risk tomorrow over parts of Iowa and Minnesota. And on day three, which is Sunday, a marginal risk from near Jackson, Tennessee, up to uh, Michigan. But that will stay north of us. But you can see we, we kind of stay in the muggy air through Sunday. So each day some risk of scattered showers and storms. Maybe not as widespread as recent days. Overall rain for the next five days. Valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Lighter amounts over north Alabama. Down to the south about a half inch there. All right, tropical fans. But Danny's a tiny little hurricane out there. This thing is just very compact. Uh, top winds 85 miles per hour, and that's a satellite estimate, of course, still too far for reconnaissance data. Uh, here's a look at the tropical models. Fairly decent agreement. I want to bring this thing over Puerto Rico and then Hispaniola early next week. And again, this could be a very good thing for them. They've been in a very severe drought and this should be weakening at that point and just maybe it'll be just a big old bunch of tropical rain for them. Ensembles, most members do the same thing. Very good agreement. Puerto Rico and the maybe the northern coast of the Dominican Republic. And whether it survives beyond that is questionable. Look at the intensity forecast. Almost all the models bring it steadily downhill. Many weaken it to a tropical wave next week. And if that thing interacts with Hispaniola, it probably won't survive. But as always, these can produce tricks and surprises, so we'll keep an eye on, on it. There's the official Hurricane Center track, and uh, they've got it coming across Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic next week is a weakening tropical storm, just a lot of rain. And again, that could be a good thing for Puerto Rico especially. Now, there's a lot of other things going on here. One, two, three disturbances that are being monitored. Uh, One just coming off the coast of Africa. There's a long way out there. Let's look at the uh, Invest 97 which is the one well to the east of Daytona Beach. It's pretty disorganized. Uh, it's obviously not nothing going on there right now. Here's a look at the modeling on this, and it's the BAM set picks it up and north and then a curve off to the east, keeping it way offshore. But uh, we do note some of the intensity models do bring this up to a tropical storm here in about 36 to 48 hours. So we'll keep an eye on that, but that's no impact on us. All right, model fans. Here we go. The GFS, the 06E run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. Again, the flow is kind of zonal, and down below that, we stay trapped in that soupy air. So scattered showers and storms crank up again this afternoon. Uh, Peak at the high res NAM. This model has not done a good job with convection in the last couple of weeks. Uh, This is suggesting. We'll see some stuff out there. It's got a larger mass over the Tennessee Valley. Radar won't look like that, but clearly there'll be a risk of a shower or storm this afternoon or early tonight. And some of the showers could linger into the time where they're playing the high school football games tonight. It's not going to rain at all the stadiums, but I would take something to keep the rain off your head just in case. Tomorrow, surface boundary north of us not moving. A deep surface low is up on the Canadian border with a new front coming down across the plains, but... Same deal, scattered mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. and uh, Maybe upper 80s tomorrow. You know, it's been, uh, this will be the sixth day in a row with a high under 90, which is remarkable for mid-August. Sunday, the GFS looks a little drier, but still we need to mention some risk of a shower or storm in spots. Surface cold front is uh, approaching Memphis and Little Rock there. 
Then Monday of next week, even then, that, that front's not through here. So there could be a shower or storm with the front. And then finally, Tuesday, we get into some drier air, nice trough over the east. And down below that, still seeing a speck of green. We'll assume we get into dry air at that point. Most other runs have shown that. Dew points come down. The high would be in the mid-80s, and Wednesday's going to feel good. Uh, Wednesday morning, we'll get down there in the low 60s, probably 50s for the cooler spots. Sunny, low humidity, and really the same thing on Thursday. Thursday morning should be just as cool. A chance we'll see 50s in the cooler pockets. A very nice preview of fall. And a week from today, 594 heat way west of here. Still kind of a weakness around here, and if that's right, that looks dry with moisture just east of here. Here's the end of the forecast. This is Sunday August 30th, 597 heat building well to the west. Our heights are coming up, and heat levels will be coming up. This, this is right. We go back in the 90s at the end of the month. Here's a look at the uh, temperature scheme. And again, maybe, maybe highs around 90 for the weekend, but look at that middle of next week. Hey, the ensemble here printing upper 50s for Birmingham Wednesday and Thursday morning. I like that. That's going to be great. And then as we begin September, we go back in the low 90s, and I remind everybody, as they often do, we can have some very hot days around here in the months of September, especially the first half of the month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.